Brothers, we're going to call this next installment Modifications. Because even though I promised at the very beginning that I was going to build this thing stock, and I really wanted to just follow the plans, not get bogged down in making my own modifications and changing things, because that's my trap always, is I start with a kit or plans, and then I start making modifications to fit my scale perceptions and what I want the plane to actually look like. So I said I was going to stick with what they sent me, but I just can't do it. Bless their hearts, I can't put this plastic on my airplane. <laughs> it's vacuum molded, and it is the top section uh, that covers the whole front here. And I just can't bring myself to use it. I was gonna, but um, I, I'm just not gonna. So, and, all, and that includes the little front cowl as well. I'm gonna go ahead and make my own balsa and ply components to uh, to fit this. Um, probably nothing wrong with using these. If you feel that that's something you want to do, then go ahead and do it. Um, I've talked to Dancing Wings about perhaps making a $20 add-on for them to supply the parts and plans to do what I'm going to be doing. Um, and I'm going to send them what I'm done. And their engineers are much smarter than me. They can figure it out. But um, I'll show you what I'm going to do and then I'll kind of update this whole process so you can see. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off, give you some close-ups of what I plan to do, okay? Okay, so this vacuum form cowl is supposed to be cut out and then fit over this right here with two cockpits that'll be right in here. One of the things I was concerned about as well is that when you cut this cockpit out, you open the insides to water if you have any kind of issues in, you know, in the water. So here's what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to create a hatch. So we're going to take it at this main former. We're going to cut this right here. And we're going to cut everything off and create a hatch that pops right in here. Now, you could just seal it in, but then you're never going to have access to your servos and your ESC and what have you. So we're going to create a hatch that comes all the way back here. And it'll be sealed. It'll be pegged. Uh, is registered in the front and then magnets probably here and here whatever um, but we're going to cut these off at the base because we have to sheet it we're going to then cut these formers back a 32nd of an inch to uh, or I guess that's a 16th and 8th 16th something like that whatever that is we're going to cut these formers back to match that and then we're going to go ahead and create uh, a hatch there. All right, so that's the plan. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on our modifications. Uh, as, as you recall, we last left, we were talking about replacing the cowl, the vacuum formed cowl, and the vacuum formed uh, top panel here. And so I spent a little bit of time making those modifications. We created this cowl. As you can see, it's just 30, 1 32nd ply with some formers that were cut out and then shaped to fit because the cowl kind of goes out and you know it's not just a straight line. It kind of wraps around a little bit. What I did was I clamped it in place and then sprayed it with um, Windex so the ammonia soaked into the ply and then let it uh, sit overnight and that made the cowl form to the kind of odd shape. It's not like odd, it's just a little bit, uh, it's not straight. So you can see we've got the hole cut out for the motor and then it just slides right on there. Okay, so that's going to replace the plastic vacuum formed piece, which um, I don't want to put on here. Okay, so I'll give you a chance to see it. Now there's a little tab there at the top. If you can see, the motor mount is right here. So I wanted to make sure that this kind of sets right in there. And there's a little uh, piece of uh, uh, I don't think it's balsa, but it's uh, balsa, I think. And that slides right over that. I don't know if you can see that. But that kind of gives me a guide to slide that in there and so it fits every time. So, 
All right. So that's that right there. And I began setting up my formers. Okay, if you recall, this was just open right here. So I've created these formers. That I'm going to wrap balsa over that to create the front end. And then this is used to have formers right here. Okay. And so I've recreated those formers to create a hatch that is going to fit right, boom, just like that. All right. So that will be now my top deck, which will replace the vacuum formed. And that again will get wrapped in balsa. Now for the cockpits, the back cockpit will raise up a little bit. It's kind of a raised gun port. So I've 3D printed this right here. And I know not everybody's got a 3D printer, but um, you should have one. All right, so now what that's gonna do is a, it's slotted there and that will fit over that top former. We'll pre-cut the hole into the plot, into the uh, sheeting. So that this will set right in there. And then we're going to use micro balloons to create a fairing that will smooth this out and give it that kind of sloped up look. Okay, so you can see that that's. Uh, and then I've got a. I'm going to 3D print. Um, I think it has a Lewis machine gun or a Parabellum machine gun. So I found an STL for a Parabellum machine gun. Uh, so we'll create. We'll print the Parabellum machine gun to come back up here as well. And then this this cockpit for the pilot is just uh, a recessed kind of uh, cutout. All right, so that's where we stand. Uh, we're going to spend some time now actually covering it or covering the sh to do the sheeting around it. And um, I'll come back and give you a little heads up on how that's going, okay? Okay, builders, we've uh, got to the next level here. I just wanted to show you this next part before I continue on. Uh, we have finished fiberglassing the actual cowl. So this is th uh, 3 30 seconds ply with formers. And then I've uh, fiberglassed the cowl uh, so that it's got that extra strength and uh, won't, uh, it'll be waterproof as well. And then you can see now I've sheeted the front nose part here. This was an open structure. And again, we're replacing this plastic uh, vacuum formed cowling top deck kind of thing here. So the parts are, so this is fixed, all right? And as you can see, it's all, I gotta put some uh, putty in there when my clamp dented the uh, balsa a little bit, but once we get some putty in there, sand that off and this will get covered, uh, we should be in good shape. All right, so that's step one. The cowl fits on there, nice and snug. Boom, we'll put some set screws right in the sides here. So this will be fixed, all right? Then the next part right here, we wanted to have a hatch here that will allow us access to the servos and everything, the ESC. So that's this component right here. If you remember earlier, we showed it to you in just its structural form, the superstructure. And um, now we've sheeted it much like this. And again, when you're sheeting, you're going to um, soak it in um, Windex. Soak it in Windex first so that it'll wrap nicely around your formers. And there's the inside right there. You can see I've got some formers. And then it's sheeted. And then you got a couple options. You can either cut your holes for your... Uh, cockpit and gun port beforehand or afterhand. Um, I did it after afterwards because I've got the Dremel tool. I can just easily cut that out without any problem. So the hatch has got a single uh, magnet on the back for locking and the set pins are in the front. So what we'll end up doing, drop it in here and it snaps into place. Boom. And now you've got your top deck. Our 3D printed gun port will fit right here. And that'll be the next stage that we do is I'll take some uh, micro balloons, epoxy and micro balloons, and create a fairing on around this so we got a nice smooth transition up into that gun port. So that's where we are right now. We'll come back in a bit after I've had a chance to 
do a little putty work here and do the micro balloons from around here so you can see what that final uh, thing will look like. And so that'll be probably all we do for mods and then we'll get into uh, fitting the servos and getting all the um, surfaces, everything kind of put together. Uh, we're not going to glue these control surfaces in place yet because we want to cover them first. And maybe we'll cover them and then get that part done. Uh, but we definitely cover uh, before we do the final gluing in, in the back here and on the ailerons as well. All right, so that's where we stand. I'm happy with the way it's turned out. Um, sure beats the vacuum formed stuff that comes with the kit. But again, you can use that if you want. I just, I'm just not going to. So there we go, guys. Pretty sweet, eh?